to this. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hello. Hello. okay. Hello, everybody. We are recording. This is Arlene coming in from Astoria, Oregon, and we have Sir Alberto, the king of hair loss prevention, in my humble opinion. I know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Coming in from Vancouver, or Delta, BC. Delta, yes. So, Alberto... The reason why I asked you to do this this call, can you hear me now and clear? Pretty good? Absolutely, yeah. And for those of you who don't know, I'm actually coming in from a Shell gas station. Little plug for Shell. Thank you, Shell. Um, is the reason why I came in to ask Alberto to do a special phone call is because I get inundated myself when I'm going door to door and whatever with people asking about the hair loss and they have typical objections and all this kind of stuff. So I was hoping that uh, Alberto could share his knowledge about the hair growth cycle, the expectations of when you're using our, our product money, you know, uh, when people start using it and stuff. So maybe you could share your experience, Alberto, and then I'll just kind of mute myself. Sure. Um, anyways, uh, thanks Arlene for, uh, for having me on. I really appreciate the chance to be able to talk to you guys uh, about hair loss uh, and how I got involved in it. Um, I'm a, I'm a 40 year uh, hair stylist. Uh, I've been in the business for quite a while. Uh, I've owned my own salon since 1986. So again, salon owner for quite some time. Um, and uh, in the last uh, four years, I started the uh, hair loss clinic in our salon here in Delta. And I, I kind of happened on that by chance. And it just so happens that it was because of my own daughter. Uh, my daughter started losing her hair and, uh, um, I had no way to help her, even though I had learned everything about hair, but the one thing we never did learn about is hair loss, what causes it, why it, why we lose it, uh, how we lose it, the different things of hair loss, and all the different things that can go on in our bodies. Now, we know that for men, for instance, it's, it's, it's very simple, and that's the DHT that causes hair loss in men, which is the deoxyhydrotestosterone. But we also go through... Uh, different phases of hair loss uh, with men as well. Uh, I'll just go a little bit into the men's hair loss thing. Men actually start losing their hair from about the age of 12 to 13 is when they go through the first phase of the hair loss cycle. And for those of you that uh, deal with children or if you've got your own children, uh, boys especially, you'll notice that around that age they'll have probably, you might think it's dandruff. Uh, but in fact, it's, uh, it's, it's pityriasis, which is one of the things that uh, that young men will go through, and it, and it can get quite heavy, and uh, a lot of them, uh, you know, feel embarrassed. They, they, you know, especially at school, they get bugged at school or whatever. And what that is, is that that is the first phase of male pattern baldness, um, and that can last anywhere from uh, 10 to 15 years. Uh, then what what all the second phase of hair loss in men uh, is... Um, you know, in, in the 20s, uh, 25, 30 uh, years of age, they'll start all of a sudden getting oily. Uh, so they'll go through an oily patch where, you know, and, and you'll be able to notice it on their foreheads, their nose, you know, in that T-zone area where it gets quite oily for them as well. And then, it, you know, it'll be dry scalp with oily patch as well. And you say, well, how can that be? Well, it just so happens that that's, you know, the sebaceous glands then that are starting to overwork as well. And that is a phase that can last, again, for another 10 to 15 years. And then there's the final phase, which is the phase that I'm in, which is, you know, all hair loss, uh, basically. And that uh, uh, that can last, obviously, to a lifetime. But my particular hair loss, uh, mine was very young. I lost a lot of hair when I was very young. And that was due more to the, the hair follicle itself, uh, which died off very quickly. Uh, instead of having a, a you know a ten year cycle, it had like maybe a two or three year cycle, and it started to it started to fall off very rapidly. And because I did nothing about it over the years, because there was nothing for uh, for male pattern baldness, um, I can't grow new hair. So you know if you're gonna go around telling people that look like me, for instance, you listen, you're gonna get new hair or whatever. I mean, I've got some peach fuzz in my hair right now. That I can grow, but that's because I've still got hair in that follicle. Remember, follicle takes about five, five to six years or so to die. Uh, when there's no, uh, when there's no hair growth, the follicle will just die, and then nothing will come through it. And there's nothing in this world that will make it regrow. Okay. Now, women, uh, on the other hand, there are so many different reasons why women will lose hair. 
Uh, and the first thing that I ask women uh, about uh, their, their health, the first thing I ask them is, how's your thyroid? That is the first thing I ask when they come into my, uh, to my clinic because that is one of the most misdiagnosed and misunderstood uh, problems in women's hair loss. Uh, and, uh, you know, I remember watching Dr. Oz one time and uh, they were talking about hair loss in women and he himself had stated that that is one of the most misdiagnosed things in women. You know, when you go to your doctor, they only test for uh, a T3, okay? And I will quite often ask my clients to go see a naturopath because naturopaths test for the T3 and T4 in the thyroid. And the reason the thyroid is so important, of course, is it regulates a lot of the other hormones in your body. And so um, with, the, with the, uh, uh, the thyroid, if it's not working properly, you can, be, you can have your thyroid be too fast or it can be too slow. Either way, it can cause hair loss. Okay, but when the doctors test you and they say that you are, you know, that your thyroid is normal, what you got to ask your doctor is, am I normal high or am I normal low? Because everybody is is different. Okay, and if you're normal low, uh, you know, you'll start feeling lethargic. You start feeling tired. You start, uh, you know, your hair starts to fall out. Your skin starts to change. Your nails, all of that kind of stuff. So. Um, so when the doctor tells you your thyroid is normal, you're going to want to ask, am I normal high or am I normal low? Because if I'm normal high or normal low, I got to go see somebody and I got to go get some kind of supplements or whatever. Now, getting back to my daughter, uh, she did have a thyroid problem, but she also had a, a digestive problem. So she wasn't getting enough iron. She wasn't getting enough of the nutrients uh, because of her digestive problems. So... Um, I had to go and learn real quickly about hair loss because I couldn't help my own daughter. So I went and I took the tri uh, trichology courses and learned about all of that. And uh, we used a different product line in our salon. Um, and uh, But it was a product line where we had to do, uh, first of all, we, we scoped the scalp to see what's going on with the scalp, to see to see how the follicles are, if the follicles are plugged, because because that's also very, very important, okay? So we check that. We check to see how the sebaceous gland is working. Is the scalp oily? Is it dry? Is it uh, all of that kind of stuff? So that's those are kind of our first clues of, of what's going on with the scalp. Um, and quite often when we scope when we scope the scalp, we'll see hair. And sometimes you'll have two or three hairs coming out of it. That's not good. That tells me that your hair then, or your follicle is plugged, which means that, well, there you go, like like Arlene's there, okay? You see those plugged, uh, see the hair follicle is actually, yeah, that's a nice clean one. That's the way you want to see that, okay? Now, those are pictures that we took of Arlene uh, several months ago. But you don't uh, want the two hairs in one. Yeah, right? so those two hairs... So let me explain a little bit about the life cycle of hair, okay? The, the, uh, the hair, we have 10 life cycles of hair, okay, throughout our lifetime. There's 10 life cycles. Each hair will grow for about 10 years. Or sorry, each hair has 10 life cycles, okay, which lasts for about 10 years each. So theoretically, you should have a full head of hair from the time you're born till you're 100, and that's when you should start losing your hair. But because of all the different things that happen uh, to us, whether it be hormonal, whether it be dietary, whether it be environmental, whether it be all of these factors, okay, can cause hair loss, okay? So we want to make sure that the scalp is nice and clean and that. And um, so in our clinic, what we did is we used to do a treatment which took an hour and a half. Yeah, you see that... Uh, that buildup, actually, you see that it's very gray there. That means that there was a lot of build. This was the before pictures of Arlene. Uh, those were built up on there, the, the sebum built up. Okay. So, um, yeah, I see. And that one, that one is getting better. You can look at the follicles. Yeah, you see the follicles there where they're starting to get a little bit cleaner. That was, I think, what was that, about a month or two after Arlene? Yeah, you see that now there's the cleaner follicle right there. You can see inside it, it looks almost like a little like a little hole you can actually see inside. So that's what you want to see. 
That's what you want to see. I was more blown away by the two hairs, three hairs per, per yes. follicle. Yes. But, but that, again, the, you're, you're blown away with that, but th that's not what you want to see. Um, okay, so the, the two hairs or three hairs in the follicles just means that getting back to, getting back to the, li the life cycle of the hair there, your hair has to grow out. And it takes about um, uh, probably about 10 years or so um, for it to get through its full growing, resting, and all that kind of cycle, okay? And at the end of 10 years, it should fall out, and a new one starts to take its place. Now, if your follicles are plugged up because of the debris or because of the sebum or anything like that, if they're plugged up, that old hair that should have fallen out after its 10-year cycle, if it's still stuck in there, the new hair that is trying to grow through grows through very thin, and you'll wind up, you'll wind up with thin hair. So when you're saying, you know, my hair is starting to thin, it's not necessarily that you're losing hair, but what it is is that your follicles are probably plugged up and the new hairs that are coming through are coming through thinner. So now you have to give those guys a chance to go through their life cycle before a new one takes its place. So the program that I had in my salon here before Arlene is uh, we used a different product and what we had to do with that, we did what was called a residue on scalp treatment. And that took about an hour and a half to do. Uh, it cost a lot of money. And uh, then we would have to put our clients on, a different, uh, on the different program depending on their scalp condition and so on and so forth. So we would put them on a shampoo and uh, a conditioning treatment and a treatment for their scalp and all that kind of stuff. And then they would have to come back once a month for at least three to four months so that we can do that treatment over and over again on their scalps and stuff. So it got to be very expensive for our clients. Can you say how much it is per treatment? Well, the treatment that we did before, like the residue on scalp treatment, we charged $100. Then, we, of course, we charged $50 to do the, uh, the scoping of the scalp. And then each subsequent treatment was $100 every month. Uh, $100, yeah, $100 to $120 every month. Uh, to do that. And then they had to buy products on top of that, right? So uh, the products now were anywhere between the shampoo, conditioner, and all that kind of stuff was uh, probably about another $60, $70 on top of that, $80 on top of it, depending on, on the pr products that they needed to use. So it got to be very expensive. So after uh, doing this with my daughter then, I came across Monate, one of my uh, business partners in, a, in the salon uh, industry, uh, came across the product uh, through you, I believe it was, and it was uh, Tara Mean. And uh, she got me going on it. And uh, the first thing she told me, she says, Alberto, I've got this unbelievable product that grows hair. And I go, yeah, okay, sure. Here's another product that grows hair. And... And uh, she said, and it's a multi-level, and, and I thought, oh, great, another multi-level company. I wasn't looking to do that. I really wasn't interested. But Tara begged me to try it and, uh, you know, to help her out, and I did. So I tried it in my hair loss clinic, and um, I fell in love with the product. First of all, the way it made the hair feel. And uh, secondly, because of uh, a continued use, I watched my daughter using it and stuff like that, and I scoped her scalp the month later, and I found that her scalp was getting a lot cleaner and a lot faster without having to do all the residue on scalp treatments and everything like that, because this is what Monate does, okay? Um, and, and a lot of you, uh, especially those of you that are, uh, that are market partners and stuff, you know that it does say that you go through a detox period and all that kind of I don't like to call it a detox period because detox to me sounds like you're uh, like you're flushing stuff out and everything like that. Okay, what it's actually doing is it's actually slowly getting rid of that buildup that's on your scalp, and it's helping to clean the follicle. That is key. That's important. That's why sometimes you'll have people that will say, "Well, my scalp is itchy while I'm on this," or "I'm getting more flakes." Or I'm uh, my my hair feels oilier or whatever. There's all those kinds of complaints. What you need to do is tell everybody that is normal. Okay, the the hair follicle that's just that's just the product doing its job. It's getting rid of all of that buildup and all of that gunk, as you want to call it. Uh, okay, it's getting rid of it. It's cleansing the follicle, and it's cleansing the scalp because ultimately 
what we want to do as trichology uh, people and stuff like that is we want the scalp to be in its best health in the most optimum environment for the hair to grow properly. Okay? And that's, that's, what we, that's what we look for a product to do. And with Monate, it does that. And it takes anywhere from a month to three months to get that, to get that working properly. With the other stuff that I was using before, there was no guarantees that it was going to work. Okay? Because we were, you know, first of all, we didn't know if the clients were being faithful and doing it properly. And so they came in and uh, they did it. But, uh, you know, so that was, that was one of the factors. One of the other factors was, um, you know, I didn't see a lot of great results with, with that stuff there. I was hoping that it would work and that, that uh, you know, but with Monate, I've seen it work. Uh, I'm actually seeing hair growth in some of my clients because I scope them every month. I ask them to come back in. And I know it's hard for a lot of you to do that. Uh, for yourselves because you, you you know especially a lot of you don't know what to look for and uh, so on and so forth and that's why uh, I'm here at any time for anybody that wants to ask me questions or wants to give me a call and Arlene you can put my phone number out on the uh, oh, I'd on be careful with that Alberto we got a few thousand uh, reps out there but. But, but that's okay they can all they can all email me or they can certainly message me right so maybe message is better yes yeah if they message me and then I It detox it, it detoxes you and everything like that. That doesn't make because it's detoxifying my scalp, right? So don't don't say detoxifying. Just say it's cleansing your scalp and it's getting it ready for the optimum hair growth, and that's what it does. Okay. So make sure you tell your clients that when you when you're first putting them on these products, uh, and let them know that that that's what's going on. Now the business side of it, um, again, I wasn't looking to do another multi-level company, uh, but as a salon owner, I can say that um, it certainly is nice to get residual income after you you know the residual income is what got me. And, uh, you know, the fact that the product sells and, you know, at first, to be honest with you, I didn't think people would buy them at that price point, but the price point doesn't matter because people and especially women and more so, um, uh, now, um, there's more hair loss going on right now. As a matter of fact, I just had one of my suppliers from a different company come in, uh, the other day I had a meeting with him and he was trying to get me to buy their their new hair loss product that's out on the market. Um, and I said, so I said, what's, what's the big deal with this one? Oh, well, you know, it's proven to grow hair. And I said, well, how was it proven? Well, they, they just got proven stuff. And I said, well, ours was proven by a third party Princeton, uh, Princeton labs, uh, Princeton university labs. And he goes, Oh, what's that? And I said, well, all the major hair products are tested by these guys. And they said, we have third-party val uh, valid, uh, how does that word go? Validation. Validity? Validation. Valid yeah, we have third-party validation by a, by a, a well-known lab, a worldwide known lab. And, uh, and I said, why would I want to take on another hair loss product where there are no proven results and, uh, and all that kind of stuff? It doesn't make any sense to me. But what I want to, what I want to get to by, by saying that is that, Everybody now is coming out with a hair loss product line. They want to get them into the salons and everything like that because they recognize that there is a major, major problem in our, um, in our society with hair loss. And it's happening at a younger and younger age. You know, we used to notice, we used to see it before as hairstylists, and I'm sure you, you would agree with me, Arlene. As stylists, we used to see it in our older clients. You know, they were starting to lose their hair. It was getting thinner. And a lot of it was due to either medication or it was due to illness and all of that kind of stuff. 
But now we're seeing it in much younger women. I've got one young client. She's only 11 years old, and she's losing hair. And it's because of all the different things that's going on with her. And uh, they're getting younger and younger. That's terrifying. Uh, it's terrifying. It is. So now all these major, uh, all these other uh, manufacturers are all of a sudden trying to get on the bandwagon uh, with the price. Say, oh, well, you know, try this. It's, uh, it's going to grow your hair. No, don't, don't tell people that it's going to do that until you've got proven results. Right? And, and Monate, Monate does have that. Sorry, I can't hear you, Arlene. You're muted. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having technical difficulties with my own computer. It's awesome. Right. No, so though there's so many things I wanted to ask you, but like you know, when you come to the uh, the the, you didn't really talk about the dormant period. You said it takes five to six years for the follicle to die. Yep. How how can somebody know for sure if the product's going to work? How do they know for sure? How do they know? Alberto? Well, you know, uh, Arlene, here's, here's the thing. Um, they don't. Right? They don't. Be, but um, we've seen, I've seen results, so I know that it works. So I can actually show people results and stuff from, uh, from, uh, from that. Now, unless they can get their hair scoped or their scalp scoped, to see uh, if the follicle is dead. And I can tell when a follicle is dead, okay, because I, I, you know, I wish I had pictures to show you, but I can tell when, uh, okay. But if you see somebody like me, for instance, you know, it's not, nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. But I will tell you that in uh, pretty well all the cases, uh, it does work, especially in women uh, more so. And in men, here's the thing with men. Um, one of the things that men are prescribed for their hair to grow is minoxidil or Rogaine. The other one is Propecia. So Rogaine or minoxidil, the, they're both the same. They are what's called a vasodilator, which means it, it opens up the... the um, uh, the the blood supply to the hair follicle so that it so that you get more blood supply to the follicle okay so the more blood supply you get there the better for the hair but when you stop using it your hair falls out again okay propecia so uh, so minoxidil and stuff like that was actually uh, was actually developed for the heart it was a drug for the heart and then they found that men that were taking that were actually growing hair okay then there was a Propecia, which is another one, or a Finasteride, which, uh, which is another name for it. That was a drug that was developed for prostate cancer. Okay, and, and what Propecia in that actually attacks is DHT, because DHT has been linked to prostate cancer. Okay, so Propecia actually targets the DHT and, and it helps to stop the production of DHT. Okay, the problem with that again is it's also a drug, and if you stop taking that, your hair falls out again. So all the products that are on the market today that you know that makes them lose hair. Yes. And Propecia and Minoxidil all have side effects. Yes. What What are the side effects? Do you know? Well, I know that, uh, for instance, um, some of the some of the. Um, I, I don't know the exact side effects, and I don't really want to talk about it on here because I, I don't want to say something that I might be wrong. So, you know, th those are scientific, uh, scientific. I know there are charts that actually say the side effects of yeah. patients. Yeah, stuff. there are charts out there, and I, I really, uh, to be honest with you, I don't have the, that off of my, uh, my head right now. All I can tell you is that they are a drug, and uh, hair, your hair will fall out again. Fair enough. The thing with, yeah, the hair, the hair with uh, the the thing with um, with Monate. First of all, it's not a drug. The Capixol, which is the the biggest ingredient in it for the hair, is it actually helps to anchor the hair root. Okay, so it's working on the hair root itself. It's not work, and it also helps to curb the DHT, right in men especially. 
it helps to it helps to cleanse that and get rid of that. Okay, the capixel. There you go. Okay. Now people are going to say, well, why should you know? Uh, do I have to stay on it all the time if I'm uh, if I'm using this? So my answer to that is always: Listen, you have to shampoo your hair anyway. You have to cleanse your scalp anyway. Why not use a product that is proven to work and to keep your hair longer? Well, that's right? called common sense, Alberto. Exactly. But but a lot of people ask that question. I get that asked all the time. Do I have to stay on this forever? Well, you're going to shampoo your hair anyways. You're going to you know you got to condition your hair anyways. You might as well use something that's going to help it grow. And, and, and that's common sense, and that's the cool thing about you is because you've actually educated your clients. Because yes. I have some people, you don't even know what it's like for people to stop it. And so you can't even answer the question because no. you, you just educate your people. Why would they want to use something else that's sub, subpar in the quality? Exactly. And, and, you know, and their hair feels great. Uh, and, and I'll be honest with you, it feels better than a lot of the products that are out there that I have seen. And I've worked with a lot of products. Yeah, no, especially since, you, since the time of Elvis. Yeah, so well, my, my, my last question to you, sir, great sir, yes. is when people are using our products, yeah. a lot of times because our product cleans the follicles so much, yeah. Some of those hairs that were two or three follicle or two or three hair strands in a single follicle yeah. start yeah. to come out and people start to freak out. So yes. So, so, yeah. So the reason for that is like I was explaining before, if the hair follicle is plugged up and the hair, the hair gets stuck in there. That's why it's very, very important to brush your hair every day. You know, our mothers were right. And our grandmothers and our grandmothers before them were right. You got to brush your hair every day. Okay, using a soft board bristle brush, make sure you brush your scalp every single day for both men and women. Yes, both men and women, brush your hair every day. What that does, it helps to eliminate some of those hairs that should have fallen out because they've gone through their 10 year life cycle and the new one wants to take its place. So you gotta get rid of that old hair for the new hair to come in. So what's happening when Monate is working on the uh, on our scalps and it's unclogging our follicles, that old hair that should is now falling out. So no, you're not losing more hair. You're just losing the hair that should have come out a long time ago. Yeah. So basically, you're you're. you're when those old hairs fall out, because you, I remember one thing you said is that when the old hairs fall out, because look at that. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. It's insane amount of hair in my, yeah. in my follicles. Okay, so do you um, notice, Arlene, put that up again, just one second. Oh my put gosh. that up again. But you were saying that it takes the, takes the shape of the... Of the follicle, exactly. Oh. And I wanted to show that there. If you look at that, so if you look at those two, there's two hairs coming out of that follicle. Three. Notice how, three, okay. So do you notice how one of them is nice and thick? The other one is very thin? Yes. Okay, so that thick one should have fallen out a long time ago. And because it didn't, that other one, that thin one, yes, the thin one now that was coming through, okay, it came through thinner because it had very small space to come through. Right? It had a very small space to come through, so it comes through thinner. But your hair actually takes the shape and the size of the follicle that it's going through if the follicle is nice and clean. Hence why you have thicker hair. Well, this was the best one that really shocked me. Was that what you what you thought? Ah, you see how thin that that other one is? It's very very thin. Okay, you see, and that's because that other one hasn't fallen out yet. So what you're saying in the end of the day is, when you use our shampoo, it loosens up the junk, yep. which removes the old hair, which allows your scalp to recover. You got to step back before you, you go get, forward. You get, exactly. You got to step back before you go forward. A good way to put it. You know, you got to get, you know, you remember you, you, it took a while for your scalp to get that bad. You got to give it a chance to grow, to get back to a healthy area. But having said all that, make sure that you're eating properly. Make sure that you're taking care of your scalp, that you're cleansing it properly. Make sure you're taking care of your health as well. Very, very important. Okay, so again, so many factors, especially in women. There are so many reasons why we lose hair, but using the monate helps to strengthen that hair bulb and the hair root and everything like that so that when it's coming through again, you're at least giving it a greater chance 
of efficacy, as they say, right? You're giving it a greater chance to grow properly and to stay in your head your whole lifetime. Thank you for summing that up, Alberto. I mean, pretty much that, it's, it's so great to have your, your expertise because honestly, sometimes people, people like, like customers claim to be experts on this hair loss thing and they don't even know what the heck they're talking about. So yeah. having you validate and having your actual experience is like, it's priceless. So like, seriously, thank you for My coming pleasure. on. My pleasure. Thanks for allowing me to do this, Erling. I love you, Alberto. I love you too, sweetie. Thank okay, you. thank you, Alberto. Eric and the little one. I will. And for all you who jumped on this call, go back. If you have any other questions, go back to the person who referred you to this call. And if at all else, you can't get the answer from that person, you are allowed to message Alberto. Yes. He's a busy yes, man. And so I, will get, I will get back to you sooner or later. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Alberto. Have uh, a good night. Bye, everybody.